Sicily is the largest autonomous region in Italy. Its diverse culture has been strongly influenced by a succession of foreign rulers over the past 25 centuries. Sicily boasts a number of rare native milking breeds of sheep. I was lucky enough to be invited to a farm in the hinterland province of Enna, which makes a very traditional Sicilian saffron flavoured cheese using the raw milk of red-faced ewes. The use of saffron as a flavour dates back to the 9th century, when the Arabs ruled the island. But today, this is the only dairy still making this cheese the old-fashioned way with a wooden vat and authentic rush baskets. The cheese here is made only with ewes milk from the farm. And of course, the saffron is grown on the property as well. So these are the famous saffron fields? Yes, yes. Now it is, uh, of course, difficult to imagine that there are thousands and thousands of flowers appearing from the ground. To have good saffron, you have to go very, very early in the morning and uh, start doing uh, very hard, hard work uh, with uh, 2,000 and 3,000 flowers each Ooh. day. The farm milks 500 ewes, and in this part of the world, it appears that sorting the sheep is definitely up to the goats. It's the clever goats who guide the sheep to good pasture, and they have an important sacrificial role as well. Put more about that in a minute. We breed sheep from they're called commissane. Their wool is not so precious as their milk, and they eat what they want, the grass that they prefer, and this helps us to make very good cheese. The raw milk is gently heated to just under 36 degrees Celsius. Homemade starter and natural rennet made only from the dried stomach of a baby goat is then added. Then comes the precious saffron. Less than five grams for every hundred litres of milk. The saffron is repeatedly rinsed through the milk to extract all the flavour and colour. This dairy reintroduced the use of saffron in cheesemaking about 10 years ago after it had completely disappeared from the region. <laughs> 